Welcome to this week's meeting of the Rotary E-Club of Silicon Valley. As a club, we uh, feature three principles. Number one, entrepreneurship. Number two, innovation. And number three, education. In order to communicate these three uh, principles, we use technology. We are very fortunate this evening and today to um, have uh, Chris Cochran with us, who has an international reputation as a filmographer. And um, I'm going to give to you his uh, uh, biography so that you have an understanding of the quality of the person that we have uh, in this presentation. For those not familiar, Chris is one of North America's finest video storytellers. His videos appear regularly on Great Big Story, the New York-based YouTube channel with millions of loyal subscribers. We feature Great Big Stories in our weekly meeting, and some of those videos were done by Chris. He started in 1972 as an intern at a TV station in Toronto. Within a few years, he was producing original TV programs. In 1976, he started a TV, film, and video production company, which grew to be amongst the largest in North America. He sold that business in 2003 and semi-retired. Upon his semi-retirement, Chris was recruited by Hollywood Types to teach an annual master class aimed at helping industry professionals. Uh, of, he learned the business through some schooling, but mostly thanks to working with excellent mentors. In particular, he continues to work with cinematographer Roger Deakins and director Ron Howard. Roger is best known for his work on the James Bond films and most recently winning an Oscar for work on Blade Runner 2049. Ron Howard is an A-list Oscar winning director with many excellent credentials. He, uh, Chris has been recognized with honorary lifetime memberships in an and almost every industry association the cinematographers and producers in Canada, the, use in, uh, the US and the UK. His work has been recognized with many awards, amongst them Emmys in the US and Gemini's in Canada. He's waiting to be inducted into the Order of Canada, an honor bestowed by the Government of Canada. Chris holds master designations from the Wharton School and the American Film Institute. He joined Rotary in 2005, served for years as chair of the public image for District 40, 7040, and for the Rotary International Convention in Montreal in 2010. Concurrently, he's in District 7040, serving as chair of public image. And Take it away, Chris. Oh, thank you, Roger. Thank you for that fabulous introduction uh, that the audience should know I wrote and he read. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it with a grain of salt, folks. Okay. <laughs> I think the point is, what I'm trying to say is I know what I'm talking about. So for tonight's presentation, what I'd like to do is I really want to get down to basics. I'm aiming this at not the Nates of our club or the Rushtons or even the kiddies that know about video and how to use it and what to do and so on. I'm aiming it at the person who is like unsure. What is video? How do I do it? I'll get really, really basic. And believe me, it's not hard. It's the simplest thing in the world. Okay? You say, it's easy for you to say. It's your background. Maybe, but I want you to know it's not rocket science. It's really, really simple. And by the way, any video you use can help you reach any goal you want. Any goal. And I like to talk about how we do that. So I've got a bit of a presentation here. It's a bunch of slides. I know it's going to bore you to death. But below this, I'm going to, I'm going to ask, the, ask Roger to make sure there's some links to several videos. I'll give you an idea of the kind of things that can be done with video. And by the way, the links that I'll send, all the videos would have been shot with very, very simple things, except one. One was a professional camera. The others were all using an iPhone. 
okay? So you don't have to worry about uh, the technical stuff. We'll show you that it's, it's really, really simple. It's almost point and shoot. If you got a finger, you got a hand, and you can push a button, you too can make video. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna share a presentation here. Hopefully it comes up, okay? Let's see if this comes up, and I'm gonna go. Can everyone see that? Great big mouth, that's yes, me. Yeah. Okay, we're about to talk. Is that coming through, Roger? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, what we're gonna talk about is video. But more than just video itself, why do you want to use video? Think about it for a minute. You have many ways of communicating with people. You can talk them to death, as I'm doing to you now. You can send them a written note, a text, uh, an email. You can send photographs. Uh, you can talk to them in person. Why use video? Well, you can debate all kinds of things back and forth, but I think what it boils down to using video any, over any other media is it has the op the ability to do three things very well. And that's why we'll want to use it. Those three things are, it can entertain, it can show everything in real time, it can detail anything you want absolutely as it is, and it has the ability to create emotion. You can make people cry, you can make them laugh, you can make them love something, you can make them hate something, you can bring out emotion. And that is the one thing that's very difficult to do in any other medium. You can do it in a photograph, but you have to be a Keith Marsh to do it. In video, you don't, okay? You can do all of these things if you follow some very basic principles. Now the club itself does a very good job in video. You have you know, presentations like this one on video to use some of our Great Big Stories, which are available at greatbigstory.com. There are, is that a noise? Oh, there's somebody trying to get into us. Okay, I hear a noise. Uh, there are, the club's doing a very good job in, in using video, but you're not using it to max potential. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, did you realize that over video, Video itself is the number one reason why people go to the internet. Over 90% of people who use the internet watch video. And according to the American Marketing Association, when anyone goes, looks for anything, I don't care if they want to buy something, if they want to uh, look up something, if they want to join something like your club, first place they go is the internet. So if you're on the internet, which this club is, that's and being an e-club by definition, the one thing you can do better to get more membership and to get things is to overload on video. Put up so much video that when someone goes in a search, they can't help but find the e-club of Silicon Valley. Make sure they can go to rotarymakeup.org, which will send them directly to your particular club, and you'll be surprised at the actual results. Now you say, what are some things I should do in video? I love to use humor. If I can make you laugh, you're going to remember it, okay? Everybody seen these, these goofy uh, videos that get up there that seem to get 2 million views. You know, some guy falls, uh, you know, falls off a slide, a cat does something. Well, if you use humor in your video, you can really, really make it memorable. And if people remember it, they will take action. Now, I'm probably speaking too fast purposely because I don't want to bore you to death, but how do you create a video? I'll tell you my process for creating, and you adapt what you think is right. But these are basics, and you want to go back to those basics and keep at those basics. What are the basics? Well, when you actually create a video, I'd like it to be in focus, okay? It kind of helps if you see something, make sure it's in focus. And whatever you're using to record on, make sure it's held steady. I don't care if it's a camera or anything else. Use a tripod. Make it nice and steady. Video allows you to record sound, so please get the camera or the sound device as cl close as possible to the individual. And when you do a video, keep it short. In fact, if you think it's not short enough, make it even shorter. The principle here is the mind can absorb what the rear end can endure. If you bore somebody to death, they're not gonna take action. So make it humorous if you can, keep it short, and just some basics, make sure in focus, make sure the device is held steady, the camera, and record as close as possible. The real key is this word, 
passion. You want to know how you make a great video? Put passion into it. Get excited about it. Okay. And you say, well, that's great, Chris. I'm excited about, you know, name a topic, any topic. I'm excited about topic X. That's great. I want everybody in the world to know about it. I want to make a video. But how do I get that passion from my mind onto a video so it comes through? Well, you need a system. And the system I use is you write a plan. How do I write a plan? Well, very simply, write down what you want to say as if you're going to be telling it to your best friends. If you're sitting across from a cup of coffee or, or just, you know, sharing dinner, whatever, but how would you tell that to your best friend? In same, sane, sane, simple, plain English. Just as if you're telling it to a friend. You say, well, okay, I can write that out. And with that plan, once you've got it written out, well, that's what I want to say. Think of some visuals for it. Just plan out some visuals. Well, I think we should have a picture of this. I think we should have a shot of this. We have a shot of this. This, great. Then go record it. Then once you've recorded it, put it together, edit it together, and you've got yourself a video. Say, but I don't have a lot of equipment. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You have a computer. All computers come with an editing system. Uh, there's iMovie if you happen to have a Mac. Uh, PCs have their own system in there. Uh, Microsoft Movie Maker, I believe it's called, gives you the ability to edit. Say, but I can't record. I haven't got anything to record on, Chris. I can't afford a, 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 a video camera. Yes, you can. Have you got a smartphone or a tablet? I bet every one of you does. Well, that's what I record on. I record on, what's this? An iPhone. Use a smartphone. It's very simple. You don't have to go and spend thousands of dollars on a video camera. You've got one in your hand. Just set it to record in HD, either 720p or 1080p. Those are technical terms. It just means it'll be a very, very good image. Say, well, once I've got, I've shot some, I want it to look really nice, you know? I know nothing about graphics or anything else. Well, there are things called template sites. If you Google the word video template sites, that particular phrase, you come up with a list of places that allow you to record video and place it into a template that they provide. And all you do for any wording, you type in the words, the title, you put your video on where they say to put it in, and you press go. And then minutes later, you'll have a professional looking video. I personally use template sites for a lot of my work because it's faster and easier than trying to create from, from scratch. Some of the good ones are like Rocketium, that's Rocket, E-T-I-U-M. Uh, there's Spark Video by Adobe. There's uh, Animoto, I believe it's called, A-N-O-M-I-T-I-O. I believe Animoto, N-E-M-O-T-O. Anyways, I'll be sending a, a list off and they'll make sure it's underneath. Okay, but use template sites. They're inexpensive for a few dollars. You can have your video transformed from something that says, well, that's amateurish, and it's something that a top professional would be proud of. Very, very simple to do. Then once you've got your video, what do you do with it? Upload it to the net. It's that simple. I say, well, where do I upload it? Well, get yourself a YouTube page or a Vimeo page or anything else, but start with a YouTube page. It's free of charge. And by placing all of your videos on there on one spot, you can start to create awareness. You'll get a certain number of views. And if you start sharing them on social media in places like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, all of the various sites, you'll actually have people who will be watching your videos. And the nice thing is there's actually a way of making money by having people watch your videos. I don't want to get into the details on that tonight. That could be the subject of a separate video. But it's less suffice to say, you can actually get paid for making your videos and paid very, very well, just because people are watching it. So I think that pretty much ends with the formal part that I want to say. All I want to say is, you know, it's been a pleasure. And shh, don't disturb any thoughts up here, because you know what? Your thoughts are the ones that count. Thank you very much. So I guess we can go from here, Roger. That, that's the formal part. I'll un share this. And Thank on. you very much, Chris. That was excellent. I really enjoyed that. Now, did it make any sense? 
I spoke fast. And by the way, folks, that means you have to listen fast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're applying one thing, and that's humor, and that's good, Chris. Yeah. Anytime you can make the audience smile, it'll increase the retention rate unbelievably. There's all kinds of studies that have been done by all kinds of very famous institutes and people that, that, that do this stuff. And you know, every one of them says, you make them smile, and people remember. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Of course. I agree with you. And I know that video is uh, very important. It's very important as a uh, teaching tool. It's very important as an information site where you can get information. And it is remarkable today just how much you can get onto uh, your YouTube sites in terms of information. Uh, yeah, I by the way, just in terms of information. YouTube publishes a figure, and I tend to believe it, that every minute of every day, there are 40 hours of video being uploaded to the net. Now, somebody like Maxie, who works at, at Google, may be able to find out the actual number, but it's huge. I mean, going up there. What does that mean to you, me, anybody else? Well, make it stand out. You've got a lot of competition out there, but in a way, that's good, because most of most people don't follow the basics, folks. I've seen so much stuff that isn't in focus. You can't hear it. Uh, it's not funny. You know, or at the very least, you look at it and four seconds later, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Put some life into it, okay? <laughs> That's why if, you're, if you believe in it, it's going to come through in the video. And that will help it to go viral. Viral meaning it just takes off and it gets so many views, he's wondering where they're all coming from. Right. Well, you uh, had told me about uh, rotarymakeup.org. Right. That's a site that would belong to our first treasurer, Alan Thompson. He actually uh, got that for himself, but then he gave it to the club. So, folks, you have rotarymakeup.org which is the perfect URL to get people to come to the e-club site. It's hard to remember SiliconValleyRotary.com. Hey, I visit the site every week, still do, I always will because I love the programs. Guess what? I keep running, oh gosh, I type in RotaryMakeup.org, it's easier to, to remember, okay? Of and course. by the way, there's what, 34,000 clubs out there, something like that? Imagine if you had one person from every club in the world visit your site every week yeah doing a makeup every club out there has somebody that needs to do a makeup well guess of what course. the perfect way to do it on your time is to come to here now right. if you could actually get i don't know how many people come it's probably a couple of hundred people come in a week of 100 200 200 guests which is why the club is growing because people see it and they like it but could you imagine what would happen if you had thirty thousand people a week who'd visit your site? <laughs> If we well, get a certain percentage, you would say, I like this, I want to join. And also, once you have those kind of numbers, I can teach you how to turn that into a fundraiser and make some serious exactly. for the club. Now, unfortunately, um, judging by, because I follow how many people watch our videos with our meetings. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it's, yeah, but uh, necessarily watch the, we, video, the exceptional the video gets to 100 views. Which isn't very That's fine. Much. And uh, one of the things I did, Chris, was as I uh, went uh, after you told me about uh, uh, rotarymakeup.org, I went mm -hmm. in and I typed in rotary and makeup. And uh, that site, uh, rotarymakeup.org, uh, didn't come up until about the fourth or fifth page. Okay. Okay. And so I was thinking here about, well, gee, that's not very good for a site. How could we then improve our rating with video to be able to get it onto the first page? So that when you typed in makeup and rotary, it would come up on the first page. Well, I would say, the algorithms and that keep changing that Google uses and others. And Maxie can probably help you because he works at Google. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, can 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 help you with that. It's called SEO optimization, uh, search engine optimization. But I believe one of the keys is the more people who are looking at a particular site, the higher it ranks. Right. So in order to rank in the first page, you have to get a lot of views. Well, if you put a massive number of videos, the more video you have on there, the more people are where it's going to be watched, right? And that's going to help with the numbers. So if you have if you have two videos on there, generally there's the program video and there's a great big story and maybe one other somewhere depending on what's going on. If you double the number of videos and had six videos each week, well, what are, people not necessarily, but it'll double the number of views up in the SEO because it'll show our not number of views, but it'll double the number of plays, pardon me, of video, which helps increase the numbers. Uh, the numbers, yeah. Now, looking at rotarymakeup.org, if right. we placed um, videos on that site. Well, that site, I believe, is just pointed. I think all it is is, is Alan bought it. I don't know who the, you can get hold of Alan Thompson, he'll tell you who the, who it was bought through, whether you know it was bought through GoDaddy or whatever place that, that that gets these. All that's done is forward directly to the, the club site. I know that. Um, uh, but uh, is there any way that uh, we could uh, put videos onto that rotary? Um, well, you're not, uh, I'm, not an, I'm not a computer guy, I'm a video guy. But the answer <laughs> obviously is yes, but what you would have to do is have to unforward it from taking you to the e-club site okay and alone and you'd have to keep that up and maintain it okay the whole point behind having it was just to make it easy to get to our club right so you're going out to a rotary meeting other rotaries hey you need to do a makeup yeah rotarymakeup.org just promote it throughout the district your own district you say guys anybody here need to do a makeup yeah rotarymakeup.org right go there do our meeting we'll send you a little piece of paper and uh you've done your makeup increases your views and it helps people out at the same time okay that was the intention right now the next question i have for you is um how could we our club does well with video and i yes. say we're probably one of the better clubs with video yeah what? there's a lot of clubs that don't even know what video is okay yes. <laughs> I know that. But what can we do to improve what we're doing? Well, improve improve what the um, the video in terms of whether uh, the people who see our videos because we put up good content. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not a I'm not a search engine guy. Refining it, so I just know okay. if you continue to put up quality, you know the people will come. Okay, but you have to do a lot of video yeah, to get there. Okay. If you put up quality, people will come. The more people that see it, and I would say if you do a video to make sure it's tagged near the end by you put an editing system, you just put across the screen, you know, the URL of rotarymakeup.org or you know Silicon Valley Rotary you know, and make it clickable so people can see. Oh, what's that? Click. And it takes right. you to the club site. Okay. Now, we'll go, uh, the next question I'm going to ask you is in regards to ancillary question, uh, ancillary equipment with your, besides your iPhone. Now, first question is, um, what yeah. app do you use on your iPhone uh, uh, to increase its uh, functionality? Well, um, I shoot through what's called Filmic Pro. It's spelled F-I-L-M, like film, with right. I-C at the end of it, Filmic Pro. It's available in the Apple App Store. I'm sure it's available in the Android App Store uh, 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 as well. There's a cost to it, probably 25 or $30 now, but it's amazingly functional. It allows me to change the, not only change focus, I can change the f-stops, I can change the, the aperture, I can change uh, with everything, anything you, if you want to, I can change the stabilization, I can change the frame rate, I can change whether I'm shooting in 720p, 1080, right up to 4, 4K, 
and a lot of I can change some of the sound settings too. It's really nifty. It's basically a professional studio in a little app. And by the way, if you've got an iPhone, that's really what you've got here, folks, is a, a, a television studio in your pocket. I ran one of the largest companies in North America. And if you've watched a Blue Jays game from Toronto, an NHL hockey game uh, from Canada, if you've watched uh, a World Series game from any city, if you've watched a Super Bowl, if you've watched uh, any major sporting event from North America, you've seen a production done by my guys who were hired by the majors to be the guys in the equipment on camera there, doing the actual, doing the actual production work. Okay, my guys, since I sold it off years ago, my former guys <laughs> doing that, okay? And we had millions of dollars worth of equipment. You know, when I go to sporting event, the guys have got cameras, you know, the size of a Volkswagen and, and everyone is manning them. Well, guess what? If you had told me even 20 years ago that I could carry around in a television studio in my pocket for a few hundred dollars, I would have laughed you off the planet. You can do more with your phone today than I could have with a million dollars worth of equipment and mobile trucks and you know, expensive uh, uh, lighting and on and on and on. You can do more of this thing today than I could 20 years ago with that. That's how far technology has gone. I'm just wondering, wow. next 20 years, what's it gonna be? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, well, like I've done a survey of uh, looking at equipment uh, for video and that. And uh, very quickly, whether it be with audio or with lighting or whatever, but you can spend a money. lot of money on, uh, oh, yeah. on any crap, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need you don't need to you don't need to spend a lot of stuff. That's the beauty of using a smartphone or a tablet, for that matter. In other words, things you already have. If you happen to have like a a, a small HD video camera, great, use it, okay? Because you've, you've already invested in it, use the thing. But if you don't, you got a phone, use it. And it'll give you the same quality as most HD cameras, okay? If you start getting into the, you know, fifty and $100,000 range for a camera, no, it's going to outclass this thing by far. But let me tell you a quick story. I think most of the audience is familiar with the Rose Parade happens in Pasadena every uh, New Year's Day. I happen to be on the Rotary Rose Parade Committee, okay, as one of the, the guys getting them, getting them promotion. Back, I think it was 2.15 was my first, my first Rose Parade. And they asked me to do some video for them, being a, a video guy, duh. So they arranged for all the necessary passes. If those of you in Pasadena know, it comes, it starts down, I believe it's Island Grove Boulevard. It's where everything is Orange Grove Boulevard. This is Orange Grove Boulevard where all the floats are lined up in order. Then they go and they turn right onto Colorado Boulevard and go down. And where they turn is all the television cameras are. And if you watch it on, on TV, a lot of times they show that shot of them turning and, and coming down. Well, I got to go up on the scaffold up there. And you only get to go for a few minutes because they have so many demands from, from media and that around the world to get up there. They've got limited space, so they limit uh, the number of the amount of time. So I wanted to catch the rotary flow because I was doing it for, for rotary. So it comes along. Just so happens when I get up there, there's a guy from KTLA, the local television station in, in Los Angeles, who is taping the parade for their purposes, not just for TV purposes, for other purposes. And he had a great big camera. It was, those of you that are into know or the red camera, it's a very expensive, it's a $50,000 camera. He had a lens on it that was the size of a cannon. It must have been, oh, three to four feet long. Uh, heavier than like you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe how, you know, the guy had a big pole coming down. Saying, oh, heaviest thing you've ever seen. He's there and he's taping this thing through a you know, great big viewfinder and everything else. And, and I come up and he looks over and he goes, hi, chief, what are you doing? Oh, rotary, okay. Where's your camera? He says, I pull my iPhone out of my pocket. I go right here. He looks at me and he goes, you're kidding. He says a lot. <laughs> really? Come on, give me a break. Really? I said, hey, hey, you know, uh, let's look at results, okay? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see laugh and do his thing. So along comes rotary and I, I do my thing and I, I tape the rotary float going by and all this stuff and time's up. You get five minutes, by the way, is what it is. 
And he was finished, so I came down the scaffold, and he came behind me, and we sort of shook in. He says, he says, hey, can I see that footage? So I go, sure. So I call up my phone, and he says, hey, that looks pretty good, not bad. I said, I wouldn't mind seeing yours. And by the way, I've never been to KTLA. You know, can I get a tour from you? He goes, sure. Come on in. So we hop in his car, a KTLA car. We go down to the studio. This is great. He takes me in. He says, I'll give you a tour, but first I got to get the camera and all this, the, the footage and so on into the technical people. So he takes it in and he introduces me to some of the technical guys. And they say, guys, you wouldn't believe this. This guy here, yeah, he shot it with an iPhone. And they start to laugh. You go, what? <laughs> an iPhone? <laughs> they do what you're doing. Are you kidding? He goes, you aren't into video much, are you? He says, yeah. Uh, you ever heard of Dome Productions? Yeah, we know Dome. Why well, is the guy that helped start that? And I go, what the hell are you using an iPhone for? He says, yeah, I know you. I know your name. I know who you are. Okay. I said, well, do me a favor. Can we compare it? Take footage out of my iPhone, compare it next to your, your $50,000 footage, right? Right. So they do that. They take my footage off this phone. They put it up on a big monitor on one side. And they put the same footage of the same float from the other one side by side. He looked at it and goes, he goes, hey, that looks pretty good. I like that. And they play both. Theirs is gorgeous, right? Mm, you can't, oh, <laughs> unbelievably how good it is. Look at mine, they go, you know what? That's really close. And they put it on as a special scope that tells us technically how close colors are and so on in simple terms. Look at it says, we got a $50,000 camera here that's reading beautifully. Yours is about 90% of that. <laughs> said, yeah, mine cost two hundred dollars. Yours cost how much? And the guy goes, "Oh." Then I said, "That'll Google a little fact." The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in Canada, CBC, says, "Yeah, we know CBC. Well, they just gave all their technical people and their reporters one of these. Why? To do the reporters do their stand-ups with the technical people in a pinch, right? In Cuba, this thing. The guys really. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap!" And he looks at it just like this. And he goes, well, thanks very much. You know, then they take me on a, a bit of a tour and this kind of stuff. And they say, by the way, you know, can we use some of this footage? <laughs> said, sure. Are you going to pay me for it? So we were, we said, yeah, we'll send you a check, which they did. Okay, which is nice. Totally unexpected. And uh, that's fine. Six months later, I get a phone call from this guy. He says, hey. Chris, the technical guy, said, yeah, I just want you to know, yeah, we just issued iPhones to all our people. No. <laughs> <laughs> it makes so much sense. I mean, of course, yeah. So, so why are we sending a $50,000 camera? We're sending out guys with good cameras, depending on the situation, but having this as a backup, especially for stand-ups and emergency footage, fantastic. Of course. Right? Yeah. I is agree. Yeah, you know, for 500 bucks a pop, is it compared to 50,000? Yeah. It only, it only makes only makes sense since yeah so we talked to the people at cbc and they gave us all the technical reasons they went to it and we tend to agree with them so right. don't be afraid to use it folks some of the top professionals out there okay and i i happen to know of a couple of television programs that are shot using this thing and i'll leave you in suspense for that one right <laughs> Um, one, uh, uh, one question before we break here, because we're going to have to do that quickly. Could you yeah. show me again, the, um, uh, the setup that you have for your iPhone with sure, your, I, I, I've got, you know, probably I'll send you an email with all the details on it, but get my iPhone. I usually put it on something like this, this is the frame. It's actually titanium. It's very strong. The iPhone's right here. Okay. Right. Simple light. Okay. Battery operated. This is a boom microphone. From about ten feet away, I can I can I can listen to a flea beautifully and it records it beautifully. I also have other ones which instead of this one, I have one which goes it's a lapel mic. Okay. Fit into the smartphone. It's a little lapel mic. I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, it looks up here and it goes back to the iPhone. I also have a device where I can make a wireless. I can put this into a thing, put it in the guy's pocket or behind their back or whatever the situation is and transmit it to the camera, which may be, you know, 50, which may be 20 feet away, 30 feet away, whatever it happens to be. So I don't see any wires and don't have to worry about how 
you know, how far away I am from people. But that's the basic stuff that I'm using. Right. Thank so you, you very much, Chris. Okay. Um, for everybody, uh, Chris is going to provide me with a list of any additional equipment that he has and he uses with his iPhone, which is cost effective. And that list will save you hundreds of hours of time of research and thousands of dollars of unnecessary purchases. That's and, correct. And, and for 10% of that, I'll send you another one. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right. He, I, the list I will send is equipment that I do use. Right. Okay? And I use it for a specific purpose. And uh, if anybody wants to know, get hold of me. I'll tell you why and how. Of course. Really appreciate that, uh, Chris. To all our members and uh, guests, uh, please fill out the comment section at the bottom of this page. And we would appreciate all the comments that you have. In addition, if you are a member or a visitor, please fill out the um, uh, attendance uh, uh, form. And if you are a visitor, and if you put in the correct e your correct email address, our club will, will send you a receipt for your attendance. And as is our uh, practice, so I'm going to ask um, Chris for the final word. Well, I guess the final word is don't be afraid to do video. It's very simple. And like anything else, at first, it's going to seem very strange. Just do it and you're going to get better and better. And the more you do it, I think the more you're going to like it. And the more you like it, the better you're going to become. So happy videoing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris.